The right side pane contains the tagging panel, used to apply coding to a document. You can activate the panel in one of two ways. If you have a document highlighted in the results list, but not selected, click the Select button in the tagging panel to activate it. Alternatively, you can select the checkbox for a document in the results list, which also activates the tagging panel. If the field you want to code is not displayed, near the top of the tagging panel is a drop-down that allows you to select another tagging panel, also known as a field arrangement. Make your coding selections and click the Save button to save the coding and remain on the current document, or click Save the Next to save the coding and move to the next document in the results list, which is then selected automatically. Notice the red X icon on the lower left-hand side of the tagging panel. This indicates that there is a tagging rule applied to this arrangement. Tagging rules can be set so that a field must be tagged. For example, the responsive field must have a value for you to be able to save the tagging. Or the rule can be conditional. For example, if a document is marked privileged, then you must also enter a privileged comment. To check which fields have tagging rules applied, click the red X icon. Now we can hover over the X to the left of responsiveness for more information about the tagging rule. Once we select a responsiveness value, the red X on the lower left-hand corner of the tagging panel is replaced with a green check mark. And now we can click Save and Next to save the tag and move on to review the next document in our results list, which is automatically selected. The Quick Tags panel lives below the tagging panel. There are eight tags that can be set with common tagging combinations per field arrangement. Once your case manager activates Quick Tags, any user can use the tags to speed their review. To use a Quick Tag, make sure the tagging panel is activated once a document is selected. If a Quick Tag number is highlighted, it is available for use. Hover on the Quick Tag and a fly-in window appears showing the coding combination that will be applied to the document if you click the tag number. Note that if you do click the number, it will apply the Quick Tag and automatically save and move you to the next document. If you wish to apply edits to the tag first, hover over the number to make your selections and then click Save and Next. You may also see an L Quick Tag, which if enabled appears after you have coded your first document. You can then use the L Tag to quickly duplicate the same coding you just applied to the next document you review. The U Quick Tag is used to apply updated tagging. That is, it duplicates tags updated by you to a current document into the next document you review. If the next document contains existing tags, those tags remain unchanged. This quick tag is best used to apply consistent tagging updates to documents. For example, to add an issue or privilege tag to a previously tagged document. If you are not using the tagging panel, you can click the arrow at the top right of the panel to collapse it. Click the arrow again to reopen the panel. Bulk tagging is the process of tagging multiple documents simultaneously. To tag multiple documents, select the documents to be tagged. Once you select more than one document, the tagging panel header indicates bulk tag mode. Apply the desired tags using the bulk tagging panel. You will notice that tri-state mode is activated for single value, multi-value, and hierarchy fields. Tri-state mode helps you understand whether field values will be tagged, removed, or left unchanged when tags are saved using bulk tagging. Selected means that the value will be set for all selected items. Not selected means value will be cleared 
for all selected items. And grayed out means that existing values will not be changed. Click repeatedly on a field value to move between the available modes and select your option. You have the following options available for the bulk tagging of text fields. Leave existing text unchanged. Apply tags to single value, multi-value, or hierarchy fields using the bulk tagging panel, and then save, leaving any text fields unchanged, or empty. If text existed in any of the text fields for any of the selected documents, that pre-existing text is left unchanged. Replace existing text. Enter text into a text field using the bulk tagging panel and then save. Any text existing in that field for any of the selected documents is replaced now with the new text. Intentionally delete text. To intentionally delete text in a text field for all selected documents, click once into the text field using the bulk tagging panel and then save. Any existing text in the text field for any of the selected documents will be deleted. One important note, bulk tagging does not allow you to append new text to existing text in a text field. If overriding existing text is not your intent, manually tag the text fields of each document one by one.